Hello everybody, Matt Pelbor here, and today we're going to be talking about Dirklet series. So what is a Dirklet series? Um, well, let's say we have a sequence, uh, a1, a2, a3, and uh, let's just say this is uh, an. So an is the generating function for uh, this series here. And um, the Dirichlet series of this sequence, or, or this function which generates the sequence, is uh, given by the sum, the infinite sum from i equals, well, from, from n equals uh, 1 to infinity of um, a sub n divided by n to the power of s, where um, this is a function of s. So let's say d, or, or, or let's say capital A of s is equal to, and it's this sum over here, uh, sigma n equals 1 to infinity, uh, a, to, a, a sub n divided by n to the s. And that is the Dirichlet series for this sequence here. And Dirichlet series, you know, this might seem a little bit abstract and, you know, why are you making a series uh, which is represented in this specific way, but it, it, it uh, tends to work very well with uh, other things from number theory, like, for example, uh, Dirichlet uh, convolutions. So if you recall, a Dirichlet convolution uh, f convolute g uh, equals h implies that sigma d divides n uh, f of d uh, g of n over d is equal to h. Yes, so, uh, well, h of, uh, well, yes, yes, h of n. So this is a Dirichlet convolution, and, and, and we can uh, work with uh, Dirichlet series in a similar way. We can we can ask ourselves, well, what happens when we take uh, such a such a convolution, and we try to make Dirichlet series out of each of these functions? Well, let's let's do that. So uh, let's take the Dirichlet series of f, uh, n equals one, or or let's say yes, n equals one to infinity, uh, f of uh, n over n to the power of s, and uh, let's multiply this with the Dirichlet series for g. So sigma uh, k, well, m equals 1 to infinity of g of m divided by uh, m to the power of s, and we will be proving that this is equal to the uh, Dirichlet series for h which is sigma uh, n equals, well, k equals, we should always use different indices, k equals 1 to infinity of um, h of k over k to the power of s. So we will be uh, proving this. So let's, let's begin. So uh, what happens when you have two sums? and you're multiplying them together, well, we can always condense this into a double sum. So then we have the double sum, uh, uh, n equals 1, m equals 1, to infinity, to infinity, of um, f of n, n to the s, over n to the s, times g of m, over m to the s, and now what we can do is we can rewrite this, this double sum, using different indices. And we can say, well, this is equal to um, the sum over a equals 1 to infinity of uh, uh, sigma and nm is equal to a uh, over f of n, uh, g, oh, very bad chalk today, g of m over, let me switch my chalk, g of m over, uh, and then n to the s, m to the s, well, since nm is equal to a, we'll just divide this by a to the s, 
And in fact, since we're doing a to the s and we're uh, summing over a here, we can always just pull the a to the s outside of this uh, second sum. So then we get uh, sigma nm is equal to a, f of n, g of m, and then this times 1 over a to the power of s. Wonderful. And uh, well, what, what is this sum? Let's ask ourselves. Uh, well, when you have nm is equal to a, that's, that's equivalent to saying d divides, uh, d divides a. So d divides a sigma uh, f of d and g of n over d, or, or excuse me, a over d. So then we get uh, sigma, oh, very bad sigma. So then we get sigma over a equals 1 to infinity of uh, this uh, Dirichlet convolution of f and g uh, times 1 over a to the power of s. And what, what, what is this Dirichlet convolution of f and g? We define that to be uh, h. We define that to be h. So the function that we'll be replacing this is just h of a. And so we have h of a. So when we combine all of this, then we get this is equal to the sum over a is equal to 1 to infinity of h of a over a to the power of s. And this is precisely what we decided, uh, what, what we desired as the final result. We, we desired the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of h of k divided by k to the s. And yes, they have different indices, but they are the same exact sum. And thus, we've completed the proof that the Dirichlet convolution actually does work with, um, with Dirichlet series. So wonderful. In the next uh, few videos, we will be uh, talking about different arithmetic functions, which can replace these h of k, f of k, and g of k functions, and uh, um, other, other arithmetic functions that can replace the a sub n term in the, um, in the Dirichlet series of uh, n equals 1 to, the power, to infinity of a sub n over n to the power of s. Uh, thank you very much.